I've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra right here. And today I'm going to show you how to check and see if this device or if the regular Galaxy S21 or if the larger Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus has had its Knox security platform tripped. Now Samsung uses Knox spelled K-N-O-X as its security platform for making sure that the integrity for, of the file system and everything is intact so that it knows that it can trust things like Samsung Secure Folder and Samsung Smart Pay. It's kind of like their version of safety net checks. So if you have unlocked the bootloader and rooted the device, if you have installed images or binaries on your device that were not officially from Samsung, then that's going to trip Knox, and that's going to, again, make some Samsung features and services like Samsung Secure Folder and Samsung Pay to no longer work. Now, this is not going to be an issue for a lot of people. However, I know there are going to be a lot of uh, other people that are going to buy the Samsung Galaxy S21 series smartphone used on, say, like eBay or Swappa. And because of that, that means there are going to be a number of people who actually end up buying a used Galaxy S21 or S21 Ultra that has already been rooted before. And then that means they're going to buy a phone that will not actually let them use some exclusive Samsung features. I've seen it in the comments a lot. So I want to show you how to check your device and find out if Knox has tripped the warranty or not. So once you're ready, we first need to boot the device into download mode. I've shown you how to do this in previous tutorials. If you're not familiar with how to and you need a step-by-step -step guide, I'll be linking that in the video description below. We're going to be using the USB method of holding the volume up and volume down buttons, plugging in the USB cable, and then letting go so that we can get to download mode. So once you have booted the phone into download mode, you're going to press the volume up button to bypass that splash screen like you saw. And they're going to look through this list of text and you're going to want to look for the warranty void line. You should see a warranty void line somewhere in this list and it's going to show a number after it. You can see it's got on this one, it's zero and then zero X zero 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 zero. If you see a bunch of zeros here, that means that war that your Knox warranty has not been tripped. That means the phone has not been rooted in the past. Now to show you an example of a phone that has been rooted, here's my Galaxy S10 or Galaxy Note 10 Plus in download mode. You can see the warranty void line marks the device with a number one. That means Knox has been tripped on this device and in certain regions in certain countries that means your warranty has been void. So bringing the Galaxy S21 Ultra back in. Remember, all we have to do is boot the phone into download mode. Look for the warranty void line. And then make sure to check the number after that. If it is set as zero, then Knox has not been tripped. If it's set to one, that means it has. So once we are done checking on Samsung's Knox security, we can boot out of download mode by simply following the instructions down here on the screen. Even though it says do not turn off the target, now if you were flashing something with Odin right now, definitely don't turn it off. Same thing with the USB cable thing. We can go ahead and un unplug it. Once we have done booted into it, we don't need to continue to have that USB cable plugged in. 
So once you're ready to boot back into the Android operating system, we're just going to press and hold the side key and the volume down button for about seven seconds. It's going to trigger the device to turn off. And then you should see the device boot back up and boot back into the Android operating system. You are safe to boot both in and out of download mode and checking for things like Knox without the risk of losing your data.